Hi guys, it's me, the Pecan Tan Beauty, and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick reveal on a bag that I have just recently added to my collection. This is a bag that you guys probably have seen before. Well, I'm sure you've seen it before because a few other Duninistas here on YouTube also have the same bag, but in a different color. So I just thought that I would share it with you guys. So the bag that I added to my collection is the Dooney & Burke Florentine Leather Sandwich Satchel in the color Marine. So this bag, I was looking for a blue bag, a dark blue bag, because you know, I do have an ocean bag, two ocean bags, and those are a little bit lighter in color. So I wanted to add something that was a little bit deeper for the fall and also pretty much all year round. You guys, I wear my bags all year round. I really don't separate them based on seasons. But I did want a darker color blue bag. And actually, I forgot that I had another blue bag. The other bag that I have that's similar to this color is the calf leather O-ring sack. And... I've only carried this bag maybe once, and like I said, I had totally forgotten that I had a bag in blue, but again, this is a hobo, and as you guys know, I'm really not a hobo girl, so I had totally put this bag in the back of my closet and just forgot about it. So it's very similar in color to the sandwich. This is a royal blue and this is a marine. So as you can tell, it is a little bit off. So I think that justifies me getting another darker color blue bag. And I'm not quite sure the camera is picking up the true color. It is a darker blue. Just like it sounds, it's more marine. It's a deep blue, it's not navy. Um, so it's a deeper, deeper blue. So let me just go over some of the details of this bag. And again, you guys have seen this bag before because I do have a, another bag in this silhouette, but it's in a different leather and a different color. And that bag is the Dooney & Burke Toledo Satchel. And then this is the color Rouge. So it's the same silhouette. It's just in a different color. So I'm just going to go over some of the details of this bag. It has the Dooney & Burke patch right here. And it's in that matted gold tone hardware. It has the tomorrow brown leather trim all the way around the bag. It has whip stitching on the handles, which is very gorgeous. And the stitching on this is done also in the Tomorrow Brown. The hardware again on this bag is that brush gold. So the O-rings and all of the hardware here is this matted brush toned gold. And I think the brush tone versus the shinier hardware goes perfectly with these bags with the color and with the slight sheen of the leather. I think the matted gold was a good choice on these Florentine bags. And it's also trimmed with the green suede underneath. Very, very beautiful. This bag also has feet that are also lined with that beautiful tomorrow brown leather. And this bag also has a detachable strap, like most of our bags have. You can detach it here. And it's a nice drop. I will have the measurements in the description box below. It is adjustable, so you have five different holes here where you can either make it longer or shorter. I always keep mine on the shortest length because I don't like it to hang too far past the hip. So this is perfect for me and I also love the look of when it hangs down on the bag. 
so it's not too long it doesn't look awkward like some of the Dooney and Burke straps can look and then this is also a nice size a nice width I like the width that they put on this one compared to some of the others kind of like on the the Chelsea's and the Shelby these straps are a little bit thinner so I appreciate on the satchel style bags that it has the thicker strap. Another thing that I love about this bag is that it's trimmed with this beautiful goldish stitching. Very beautiful. It's also double stitched on the handle so you have the stitching here around the front and then you also have the stitching that's underneath the whip stitching here which is very very beautiful it just adds a different touch to the bag and this bag just like the Toledo satchel has these beautiful pleats here going around the front and the back very nice pleats it just gives it such a classy type look in my opinion um, and it also gives the bag a little bit more room because it gussets out and bows out a little bit so it gives it a little bit more room I, if you can see it here from the side see how it bows out a little bit so it gives you a little bit more space outside of the bottom measurement of this bag so let's go on the inside so we start off with our braided zipper pull very pretty and then I have some stuffing in here so let me take the stuffing out really quick okay you guys so this bag on the inside is the standard Dooney and Burke setup it has a medium size mouth. You can easily be able to get in and out of the bag. Now, over the past, I'd say year, year and a half, I have veered towards larger bags like the Chelsea Shopper and then the Shelby Shopper. And you guys know my infamous Clayton satchels. Um, those are all larger bags, at least 15 inches in width. So this bag here is the perfect medium for me. I don't think I would want to go any smaller than this size. So this bag is the perfect medium. I would say this one is even more medium to me than the small satchel. So again, the inside is our standard Dooney and Burke setup. We have our zip pocket right there and then the zip pocket I always keep my registration card I always keep my tags in here and then as well as my receipt just in case I want to sell it which this bag I will never sell but just for my reference I just always like to keep these items in here you know I may want to get a while here one day and go through and add up how much I really spend on handbags. So that way I will have all the pricing information and the receipts already in the bag. Okay, it has a slip pocket right here, very nice size slip pocket. It has our Dooney and Burke patch right here on the inside. And all of the Florentine bags, you guys are lined with this beautiful suede lining um, and it goes about I'd say maybe three inches on the inside of the bag and for this bag in particular this suede helps the bag to fold to have this nice fold it kind of softens up the leather a little bit to be able to help you get that nice as Sue Clifton calls it this nice smile to the bag here so on the other side again our standard pockets we have our slip pocket here and we have our snap slip pocket here and then we also have our key keeper here 
very nice size on the inside I don't know if you guys can see again this is a nice size medium bag it's any smaller on the mouth of this bag and it would be too small so again I think this is the perfect medium so if you are looking for a medium bag I would highly recommend the Florentine sandwich you guys these are very beautiful bags this is one of my favorite next to the Clayton's um, this style bag has actually beat out my Florentine satchels I started I was on a Florentine satchel kick last year starting maybe February time frame and I went from a Florentine satchel binge to a Clayton binge and I am still on the Clayton binge and I have something coming up on that note for you as well and this is my second best bag and another favorite of mine about this bag is the zipper color the color of the zipper which is this nice beautiful red it's kind of like a burgundy red so it's not the bright red but it's like a um, like a wine colored type red so I think this is gorgeous against the color it just gives the bag a totally different look when you're carrying it because that red just stands out and brings out the color of the blue I just wanted to give you guys a natural light look at this bag it's almost sunset but I think you still can get a pretty good true look at her true color and again she is a marine color so it is a darker blue as you can see that is pretty much true to color okay so I hope this gave you a better look because I know my lighting was a little bit off on the inside so I thought that I would try to give you guys a look of how she looks in natural lighting so anyway guys I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one bye guys